What's happening? What's going on guys? So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can do captions on your videos. Really simple in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So here I have Premiere Pro. I'm actually in the tab you're going to need to be in. But let's just say you're in your edit tab or whatever. As you can see here, I got my timeline. This is the um, video I made for or I'm finishing um, for the one year of owning Kona, our golden retriever. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I wanted to add captions to it after I exported it. I am on the most updated version of Adobe Premiere Pro 2022. I am on version 22.4.0 build 57. Um, I know they added this caption setting window a couple updates back. Um, I honestly don't know how new or old this is, um, but I just started using it maybe half a year ago or so. Um, so if you are in your edit window, um, you know how you used to have your workspaces up here, right on top here where you could go you know, edit, color, audio, whatever else. Well, now it's over here on this uh, right hand side this little workspace that you can see it pop up right there if you click on it i updated mine so i have my edit my color and my captions if you don't see this captions and graphics you gotta go into edit workspaces and it's in the do not show as you see i have audio edit learning assembly effects all these ones are kind of in your menu um from the start and I don't use any of those so I moved them all down. I made my own edit window because I have mine set up a certain way. My color, because I can color, and then captions and graphics. Captions and graphics and you're just gonna take you to this page right here. This big window on the left. Um, I, I didn't change this at all, I don't think, this workspace so it should be here for everybody. So if you don't see this window, it's going to be this text window. So like say if I close this and I don't have it here, um, you can go up to window up here on your file, edit, clip, sequence, window, text pops up. Um, and you can transcribe sequence. So when you click that, it's gonna ask you what sequence you want to, the length of the sequence, so you make sure that's right your language um, i'm going with english but there are other ones you can use um and then what audio it's going to be pulling from so you have your audio one two three or mix so um i just want to transcribe me my voice so i would in all of that's in audio one so yeah i'll click audio one but sometimes i just click mix if i have multiple tracks going on and i'll adjust it later so you click audio one um, if you want to transcribe from a certain point, you can select here, transcribe in point and out point only. Um, but I just want to do the, I mean, my, my in point and my out point is my whole sequence. I don't have a special in or out point. So there is, I would just leave this unrecognized when different speakers are talking. It kind of breaks it up. But um, for me and the last, if I work on, I have one, maybe two people talking at a time. So then you hit transcribe. As you can see, it's going to take a few minutes on the left. It's going to go through. This isn't a very long timeline, so it should not take very long. But we will cut back when it is done. All right, so we are done here. As you can see, it shows speaker one, and it shows um, what it grabbed on the timeline. Depending on how well your speaker is, I can talk really fast, so sometimes my, my words get get you know, blurred together. Um, so this might not, as you can see some of them here, I can already see some mistakes. So once you can do from here, once you have this, you can go through and change it here if you want. Um, I do it in the next step, but yes. Um, you can also check here, you know, um, export it. If you want to export it, put it on a different video, check spelling, spell checking settings, all, all that good stuff. Um, multiple different things. You can change the size of it, but say I'm done. Say I, I've gone through, I've checked all these things as, as need be. You can click here, create captions, a little CC button up here, um, kind of center on this left window. Click create from sequence transcript. So then you can do, you ha, um, sub, subtitle default is fine. Format subtitles, which means it's gonna be putting it at the bottom here. Um, I don't change much of this at all um, lines if you want a single or a double line um, and you 
create. So what it's gonna do, it's going to create that caption. So you go, there it popped up pretty quickly. And then you gained this extra layer on your timeline called subtitles. So it's your, it's your caption subtitles line. So now you have all these up here. And so if I play this through real quick. So a year ago, I surprised my girlfriend with a puppy. So you see how it, with a puppy, I have it cut away. So I can literally just go back. A year ago, I surprised my girlfriend with a puppy. Girlfriend with a puppy. So it doesn't cut over on that other clip. And then I don't need this, this what here, cause that's from the other clip. Same with this one, just delete them. She's growing to be about 56 pounds. So here it, it took it as 56 pounds as like the UK pound, like the money. Um, so I'll, I'll, if I need to, I can click here and up in my left window here, all you have to do, you can click double click on it and you can change anything you need. So say I want to change this to LB for pounds, LBS, boom. Now it's, it's changed. Growing to be about 56 pounds or so. Six pounds that away, so or so. There. And I'm going to quickly go through and fix this all, fix all the spell errors or things it picked up that it thought I said I didn't say or anything like that. So I'm going to do that real quick and we're going to time lapse this now. Alright, so I'm back. I have the whole thing set up. So that's all you have to do. So now that I have them all set, um, I like this basic, just lower kind of discrete white. Um, you can change over here on the right, you can change the position, <clears throat> excuse me, the alignment, the zone it's in, if it's left, right, center, top, mid, you know, whatever. If you're making a TikTok, maybe you want it to be in the middle. So if I click on this one, put it in the middle, you can have it in the middle. Um, I know there's some people that want stuff like that. This does have a small shadow on it. If you guys can see here, let's see, I can move it back and forth, but I'm just gonna leave it as the stock settings. You can change this text font to whatever you want it to be. If you have a certain text, like if you are a company or a business and you kind of have like, you know, uh, marketing standards with colors and, and text fonts and all that stuff. But that is how you add captions to your video. Um, very simple. Obviously you have to go through and kind of change, like I said, some words if need be, maybe placements. This placed really well, but sometimes when you have multiple people, people talking, maybe you have to, um, designate who's saying what. So put their name in front of the, the text. So you have to go through and type that. I've had to do that for work a couple times, but yeah, that's the basic way to add captions to your video. There's a lot you could do with it, but that's just the basic. So something I forgot is when you export, if you export for the first time, sometimes what happens is, so if I go up to here to export or control M or whatever, you can see them on mine. Um, you got your normal export settings. We'll call this Kona one year vid. Um, put in my, my location, my, but all the regular export settings. Um, and then if you go down here you see captions, it is checked, but usually what you will have is that from start. So it'll be, it'll be selected, but the export options will be none. What you want, what I do is burn captions into video. So it's like, it's just exported with the video. That's all it is. If you want, you can create a sidecar file. Um, and what that'll do is make you a file. So if someone's, I think YouTube will have it be, um, you can import the settings as like a file, like a text file. Um, I just burn them straight to the video cause this is only being posted to YouTube and, and I'll just, yeah. So that's that. So that's how you do that. So you want to make sure captions is turned on to whichever one you want, but I burn captions into video, but it depends on what you're working on and what you need it for. That's it. Um, that's it for exporting. And then you go down and you click export. That's it for creating captions. Very simple, easy. 
way to do it like like i showed there are a lot of other ways to to change things placement size text all that good stuff um but that is the generic way on how to get captions easily without going through and typing all of them yourself on your premiere pro video so hope you guys enjoyed give it a like uh subscribe let me know if you have any questions in the comments and uh let me know if you want to see other editing videos like this in the future um because I, I do it for my jobs full time for me editing filming all that good stuff so hope you guys enjoyed see you later bye